showing you how to create a Windows desktop on Google Cloud. So if you are a Mac user that needs a Windows desktop and you don't want to buy one, maybe it depends on your needs, right? If, for, for example, in my case, I like to game on Windows sometimes, but like three, four, five hours per week, right? So I'm not going to buy an expensive gaming computer with Windows on it for $1,000, right? And, um, but again, it depends on your needs. If you are like a gamer 24 seven, then it's better to buy um, a computer or a gaming laptop. This is very cheap with Google cloud with this probably, if you, if you play like five hours per week, then you pay like two or three or $4 per week. Right. So, um, I'm going to show you how to build it. It's, um, very fast, very easy. So you have to go to cloud console. Google Cloud, right? First of all, you have to create an account. And you have to go to navigation menu, go to compute engine and virtual machine. So right now we're gonna build a instance or a virtual machine instance. So you're gonna click on create instance. Yeah, just name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it Windows Server. I'm gonna leave the region US Central 1 in Iowa. <clears throat> And here are the machine configurations. So depending on your needs, whatever you're looking for, depending on your game and stuff, here you can modify um, to your specific needs. I'm just gonna use, the best ones are C4, N4, C3, and C3D. So whenever you click on it, for example, C4, it will say here the hourly rate. It will change though, later on, I will show you why. Um, and for, it's 10 cents per hour here. You can see what it will give you. Eight gigabytes of memory, 10 gigabytes hybrid, hyper disk balance. You also have C3, which is 21 cents per hour. You get 16 gigabytes of memory. You also have C3D, 18 cents per hour. Also 16 gigabytes of RAM for CPU. So um, depending on your needs, just play around with it. Make sure to double check the hourly rate. Right, I'm just gonna go with um, C4. And here you can, as you can see, this one is seven gigabytes of memory. If you wanna boost it up to 15 gigabytes, you can do it as well. As you can see here, it will be 20 cents per hour now. Now, availability policy, I will explain you what this is. If you leave it at standard, you can game whenever you want, right? It's pretty much like your server and Google Cloud would not touch it. Now, you also have the option to make a spot. What does it mean? Pretty much a spot is, Google Cloud will look for a spot whenever there is a spot available for you, right? But the thing is here, as you can see, it's, a, it's um, cheaper as well. It's eight cents per hour. But the thing is, Google Cloud will take it from you whenever they need it right for someone who is willing to pay for the 20 cents per hour so if you are an online gamer doing bossing and stuff playing with your friends probably it doesn't work out right you have to choose standard but if you are a solo gamer just playing you know assassin creed or G whatever it is then spot uh, probably works out for you so i'm just going to um, go with spot for eight cents per hour, but it's it's going up again. So as you will see here, we have to change the boot disk. Right now it's Debian, it's Linux, so we have to change it to Windows. So click Windows Server, Windows Server 2022 data center with de desktop experience. Just leave it as default. And uh, let me just move this here and click select. Probably okay. There you go. So the price is going to change to 27 cents per hour, but you will get a pretty um, good high performance computer for 15 gigabytes RAM, four CPUs, 50 gigabytes hyper disk balanced. And if you go back to boot disk again and click on change, you will get 50, uh, 50 gigabytes. So if you want more, you can, you know, boost it up to 200 gigabytes, click on select and it will go up to 29 cents per hour. So if you play like, you know, five hours per week, maybe on a Friday or just on a Saturday, then 
how much you're going to pay, like $1.50, maybe $2 or $3 tops for 10 hours per week, which is a pretty good deal. You will have a high performance computer for gaming. And, um, you know, instead of um, spending $1,000, you can do it on Google Cloud, whatever you want. So um, firewall, allow HTTP traffic, HTTPS traffic, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to click on create. So Google Cloud is going to build the instance right now or the server. As you can see, it's loading. And um, in the meantime, what you have to do as well, you have to download a program for Mac or an application which is called uh, Microsoft Remote Desktop. I already have it installed. It's this one, as you can see. Uh, you can download it from the, you know, the Apple Store or just from Google as well. And uh, yeah, you're gonna need that one to um, connect to your virtual machine instance. Probably this is gonna take like, oh, it's it's done. There you go. It's um, the instance is running, and the next step, what you have to do is click on Windows Server and click on Set Windows Password. So username, you can just use whatever uh, username. I'm just going to use my name, Robert Guchin. Click on set. It will give you a password right now, which is like um, a random password. OK. Copy it, just paste it right here. Well, in your notes for this video, I'm just doing it right here so you can see it. And we're going to go to our Microsoft Remote Desktop application. You're going to click on Add PC and go back to your instance. I forgot one more thing. You need this external IP, okay? So you have to copy it and you have to paste it right here, okay? And here you have some more configuration to play around with, you know, to your needs. I do not need any printers nor smart cards, so play around with it. Just gonna leave it as default, just remove the printers. Click on add, and that's pretty much it. Right now, click on here, click on connect. Let's see if it's gonna work. Probably takes like a few seconds to initiate the uh, remote connection as it says here, and then it will ask you for your credentials, the one we just created, okay. It says here, enable to connect. We're good and connect to the remote PC. Make sure the PC is turned on and connected to the network and that remote access is enabled. Okay. In this case, when this happens, let's just try again and connect. All right, let's do it once more. This just happens like the first time since uh, probably the instance is not like up and, okay, now it's working. Username and here the password. Show the password. Okay, that's good. You're connecting to RDP host, the IP. Just click on continue. And in a few seconds, there you go. Windows desktop is opening right now. And as you can see, you have a beautiful Windows desktop up and running, high performance for gaming. You can install it to your needs, whatever you need, right? And um, that's pretty much it. So one last suggestion, I'm just gonna turn this off. I'm gonna shut it down, continue. Make sure whenever you're not using it, click on here and click on stop. If you forget to turn it off, then Google Cloud will you know, keep charging you to uh, for this server to have it up and running. So I will, you know, probably set an alarm to turn off your instance whenever you're done with your um, Windows desktop. You know, it's 25 cents per hour. And if you forget it for like 10 hours, it's like, you know, bang, $2.50 right away. So make sure to turn off your Windows server as soon as possible whenever you're not using it. And whenever you're going to use it, same thing. You're going to click on here and click on start again. Okay. Let me just refresh it to show you how to restart it. Again, as you can see, the instance is stopped. If you want to um, deploy it again, click on start, resume, and it will be 
back up and running in like 30 seconds and you can log in again. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching these videos. If you have any questions, please let me know.